Hello, this is Jaguars for another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Journey's Frontiers album. Journey's Frontiers is their 8th studio album, released in February uh, 1st of 1983. It came out two years after their 7th album, Escape. The album was recorded autumn of 1982 at Fantasy Studios. Is rock, Frontiers is rock and hard rock. The label is Columbia Records. It is produced by the same producers, which is Mike Stone. And Kevin Eisen. The singles on this album is Separate Ways, Worlds Apart, which is their heaviest track, Faithfully, After the Fall, and Sender My Love, which were all released in 1983. All those singles are standouts, including the hard rocking track, The Edge of the Blade, which is their, which is heavy as well. And so and here's my. I'm gonna break down all the tracks from, from what I like about them and what I don't like about them. I'm gonna try not make this a long video because I try to make my videos as short as possible. And but I'm gonna. But I'm not gonna make any promises. What I like about it. And here's the good. Is I think it's, Journey's, greatest albums. Just like Escape was for me. It's their heavy album with um, some hard rocking tracks and arena rock tracks. And it has some heavy tracks on it like Heads of the Blade. And it has some has some love ballads like the um, Faithfully and Send Her My Love. Which were singles off of the album like I mentioned earlier. And it's Steve Perry's best vocal work on this album, I think. And Neil Son's amazing on this album, doing full guitar attacks on these songs. And it's a guitar-driven album, I think, and keyboard-driven album, I think, with Jonathan Cain on keyboards. And it's a fantastic album, I think. It's pretty catchy. It's hard rocking, like I said earlier. And what I don't like about it is the production is all right, but it's not that great. And need the production needs a little bit of work, cause on Escape it was perfect production. On this one, it's not as production. But there's also songs that weren't released on it, but were released later on, like a like on a re-release of this album, which was Ask the Lonely, of course. Open Arms, I believe was what it was. Not Open Arms, I mean, you know what I mean. I think it was Ask the Lonely and something else. I forget the name of it, but it's a great album from start to finish. But I don't have a lot of negatives to say, so it's a fantastic album, I think. It's, um, Steve Smith is amazing on this album doing amazing drum work on this album, especially on Edge of the Blade. It's a fantastic album, so I would like to know what you think of Journey's Frontiers. I'm gonna try and rank, I'm gonna try and get to all the albums before Freedom, which is being released next week. So I'm gonna try and get it done soon. I'm not gonna make any promises. So um, then I'm gonna be reviewing Freedom, which when once I get it in the mail, so, um, I think this album is fantastic. It's, you know what it is. And please follow me on all my social media accounts. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. So, um, like always. And then this is Jake Waz of Nerdy Vitalism. So please stay nerdy. Peace. Bye, everybody.